Carlos Quentin and the White Sox trying to snap a six-game slide, taking on the Twins in Minnesota. Nick Blackburn on the hill for the Twins, in some trouble in the first. Bases full, one out facing Quentin. Ground ball to short, Siyoshi Nishioka. Great play, but he throws it away. Juan Pierre scores, 1-0 Chicago on the error by Nishioka. Mark Burley on the hill for the White Sox in the first. After giving up an RBI single to Joe Maurer, it's Jason Kubel. Two-run shot, his eighth of the year, and the Twins had a 3-1 lead. But in the third, Quinton helps Chicago get back in the game. Facing Blackburn, he crushes this one. 22nd home run of the season, and it was a 3-2 ball game. But Quinton was not done. Fifth inning, one on, facing Blackburn once again. And now make it two for three. Yes, you can put it on the board. Yes. Sox lead it 4 3. 23 home runs for Quentin on the season. As for Burley in the fifth, man on third base, Matt Talbert, he grounds out to end the frame. Eighth inning, still 4 to 3 White Sox. Bases full, two outs. A.J. Pierzynski at the plate. Now keep in mind it's a 1 2 count. Glenn Perkins, wild pitch, gets away. In comes Alexi Ramirez. It was a 5 to 3 ball game. As for Burley, bottom of the eighth inning, facing Talbert once again. Tapper towards third. Brent Morell, great play on it. Burley retired the last 12 he faced. Eight innings, three runs, but none of them earned. Bottom nine, Chris Sale on for the save. With Jason Kubel at second base, he faced the tying run with two outs in Danny Valencia. He gone, and this ball game is over. So the Sox take the first of this three-game set and the first of this seven-game road trip. Mark Burley, Stone Pony was just... Mark Burley. And the Stone Pony picked up his ninth win. White Sox a 5-3 to three winner, snapping that six-game losing streak. Quentin had four RBIs. He now has 70 on the season. Burley's allowed three runs or less in 17 consecutive starts.